you ever have apps where you think, I wish I could just really like lock down that piece of my code when I deploy it? Mm -hmm. The code never even loads. Check this out. Check this out. I can't wait to show you this. I uh, can't even remember. It, it's uh, uh, Somebody's going to have to help me. The JS Defender command in chat. I don't remember the link. Uh, okay, this is it. I'm going to bring this over. Obfuscate. Obfuscate. Yes. More than that, even. You can do that. We're going to do that, but you can do others. Was it, uh, was it uh, JS Defender? Thank you, uh, Chris. Let me bring this over. Check, check this mug out. Uh, .NET people know .Fuscator that obfuscates C Sharp code and all. They've got this new product called JS Defender, and I'm gonna full dis full disclosure. They're our sponsor this quarter, and when they showed me this, I was like, oh, that's legit. Check out this online demo. They've got like um, npm packages you can bring into your pack your project, and it works with Angular, React, whatever, JavaScript. But check this out. You got this code and you're like, man, this is, by the way, it comes out with 42. But you're like, man, I really don't want people being able to see my code. You can put this in your like CI CD pipeline. And it will take your code and spit out that garbage. And that, and this stuff. like legit works. So let me open this up in text. This is what it converted that into. It obfuscates it. Uh, it can, it can like, it like reorders stuff. It's like even more than like, it's like even more than obfuscation to me. Do I have this open still? Uh, uh, CD what was it uh, C it's on desktop um, users Michael desktop like node what was it called protect dot js obviously is so good it knows how old isn't that insane Oh, chicken, man. That would have been too easy, wouldn't it? And check this out. Like, it'll lock it to a domain. So only that's, that JavaScript will only run if it's being served up from my specific domain. And then this, you can't do this in the demo. But it does some kind of, like, the self-defending stuff. It'll, like, somehow it, like, it's like it does some kind of MD hash or something on the compiled JavaScript and then like does some kind of wrapper around it so that if you made any changes to it, like if you tried to add a console log, the whole thing won't work. I don't know what kind of witchcraft they use, but I think that's pretty cool. I can think of several times that I've needed something like that or I felt better. I might show this my uh, VA so no I can copy our source code. Kaiser Bread, yeah, go sign up for. Um, I, I think they got a free trial. Uh, you can actually download it and give it a go. They've got a CLI. It's pretty slick. 